Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, everybody who is already tapping on the screen. Everybody who is already saying hello to your brother. Thank you once again. Welcome to the Go JB Health Show. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Thank you, everybody who is already here to join your brother once again. As I always say, sit back and relax for a great show, a great ride with your brother JB. Today we're going to talk. But we're going to tell you some of the things that you could do if you witness somebody having seizures. Remember, this show, we answer a lot of questions. So if you just connected, stay right here because we're going to discuss what you do if somebody's having seizure. But also, we're going to answer a lot of questions throughout the show, a lot of questions about health care, a lot of questions that could help you help you to have a better life help you to know how to take care of your body once again my name is uh jb uh my friend kelly queen kelly how you doing my name is jb and i am uh the host of this great show <laughs> i am the brother that comes here that takes you uh, to that great ride on go jb health let's go people we're gonna be having a good time today once again if you haven't followed me yet follow me so you know whenever i'm live the next time everybody who is tapping on the screen i'm very proud of you i'm very thankful of you but today we're gonna see what do you do we're not gonna talk about the thing people are saying off the street but we're gonna get the true information right here with your brother jb on go jb hell what do you do if somebody is having seizures <laughs> Somebody has a dentist appointment. Yeah, dentist appointment is good for you. One of the shows I'll be talking about what is the importance of you taking care of your teeth, how your teeth, your teeth is related to your whole body. But today, mainly, we're going to talk. We're going to show you what you should do if somebody is having seizures. Remember, that can happen to anybody. You could be anywhere and somebody having a seizure. But do you know what to do? Your brother right here, your brother JB is about to tell you, about to give you the correct information information my d queen clark uh queen clark uh, thank you for being here again guys uh, thank you uh, thank you if you are new follow me uh, thank you for your like thank you for your share thank you for being here if somebody's having seizure the first thing you should make sure you help them ease them on the floor you're gonna make sure you stay with them until the seizure is over that is extremely extremely important my friend a nurse underscore flying how are you doing my dear queen thank you for your roses appreciate you and you should make sure if anything is around this person that could make them hurt themselves you should make sure you remove anything around that could cause a safety issue you should call 911 if that seizure lasts more than five minutes uh, or if they keep having seizure over and over stay calm dim the light uh -huh. anybody around should be very calm if we talk we need to use a very calming voice my name is jb <laughs> i'm the host of this great show the go jb health i'm proud to be a brother who is here to educate his people i'm proud to be uh, uh the person somebody saying something is freezing is your screen freezing anybody having problem Please let me know. So if somebody is having seizure, <laughs> you also need to make sure that if they have any, uh, like a tie, anything around their neck that could uh, kind of interfere with their breathing, you need to make sure you remove it for them. <laughs> Rene Clark, how are you doing? If you say you could hear me, that means I'm going go well. Oh 
Sorry guys, sorry guys, sorry guys. I had to pick up that phone call. Sorry, sorry about that. But uh, the other thing that you need to do if somebody's having a seizure is lay them on their side. Now, a few things that you should never do if somebody's having a seizure is never put anything in their in their mouth. Never, never put anything in their mouth. Never restrict them. Let them jerk. Just make sure the environment is safe. It means you remove anything they could hurt themselves. Otherwise, allow them freely to uh, move. Okay. Don't give them breath. You know how we give breath and CPR? No worry. These people, they will start breathing again. Okay, with seizures, uh, they may look like they stop breathing, but uh, they will be okay. Again, if it lasts more than five minutes, uh, you may need to call 911. Also, if that person has not had a seizure before, that's their first time having a seizure, you may want to call 911 as well. My friend Denise, Denise that blessed, how you doing? How you doing? Thank you for being here. I'm happy to see you. Sometimes that could happen, my friend uh, who asked that question, Nunu, uh, how you doing? Uh, yes, sometimes that can happen. But the bottom line, if you try to stick something in their mouth, that's when you're really causing problems. You must never stick anything in somebody's mouth. Somebody who, uh, uh, who, who is having a seizure, you should never, never put anything in their mouth. Never. I'm glad I'm glad my queen Denise is blessed. My queen nurse underscore flying. How you doing? I appreciate you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for being a subscriber to this platform. Nicole, uh, my friend, uh, my queen Nicole, uh, it looks like there's a message that came to me here, a notification that says that uh, very soon uh, you will lose your subscriptions benefits. So if you are willing to continue to be a subscriber to this platform, I encourage that you renew your subscription again, once again, queen uh, Nicole, uh, we truly appreciate your support, but uh, your subscription is about to end. So, I would appreciate if you want to renew your subscription for us. We appreciate you. Good afternoon, Nicole. <laughs> I'm happy to see you here. One of the most important queen here. <laughs> Miss Stephanie, how you doing? Miss Stephanie Mary, how you doing? Thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you. I'm very happy to see you. To see you. I'm glad my friend, my Queen Stephanie is doing well. I'm very happy to see that. I'm very happy to hear that. <laughs> if somebody's having a seizure, make sure you don't try to give them something. Thank you, Nicole. Nicole, thank you once again for renewing your subscription. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Queen Nicole, thank you for renewing your subscription to the GoJB Health. I appreciate that. I appreciate the support, my queen. GoJB. 
uh the people who are following me my friend uh bradley how you doing uh, thank you for following uh, me <laughs> again if you are new to this platform if you have not followed me i encourage that you follow the people who are tapping on the screen like Denise Bless. And guys, uh, as I was saying yesterday, I encourage that you encourage the people who are supporting Gorjevi. Like Queen Nicole, I'm asking everybody to go there and follow Queen Nicole. She needs more followers, right? The more she grows, the more she could help with Gorjevi as well. It's a network, right? So she could uh, continue to support us more. So go follow Queen Nicole. Sweet Chicky, how you doing, my dear? I'm happy to see you here. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, my dear uh, Lamore Bart. Bar Bar um, it's like Bartley. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> I'm glad that my sweet Chicky is doing good. So. Again, today we've been talking about what you should do because anywhere it could happen anytime. What should you do if somebody's having a seizure? got this the, the credit my friend who <laughs> said thank you for pronounce my name right <laughs> guys do me a favor i'll be right right back i have a patient it looks like that has a little emergency of the front so i'm gonna go and talk to them for just a quick minute just give me one minute uh hold on right here guys please hold on hold on we got a lot of things that we about to talk about so uh just hold on i'll be right right back i'll be right right back okay Sorry, my people. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to go up there and uh, actually it was very quick. So it was very quick. I had to talk to this patient for just a quick minute. It was just for one answer. Uniquely Lois. How are you doing, dear? Shonda Washington. How are you doing? Thank you for joining. Denise 19 how you doing thank you for joining uh, it's like world princess wow world princess what a beautiful screen name thank you for joining I'm very happy to see you here 
the people who are tapping on the screen, like my dear princess, <laughs> world princess. Thank you. And again, if any of you, if you are uh, new here and you have not uh, followed me yet, please follow me. Follow your brother. <laughs> I have a queen here. That's what she's doing. She's giving me love. She's giving me roses. My queen. Angrid bent. Angrid. You guys, Angrid is a great follower to go JB. So follow. Let's follow Angrid as well. Follow Go JB and follow Angrid. One team. I'm happy to see you too, my dear world princess. <laughs> Thank you for being here, my dear. Go JB Health. Go JB Health. <laughs> if you love your brother, then you go JB Health. Shonda Washington, I'm doing good. As you can tell, I'm happy. I'm spending a good time with you guys, with my people. I'm answering questions. Today, we've been talking about uh, what you should do if somebody's having a seizure. That's what we've been talking about right here today. Again, once again, you know this show will be available, fully available later on um, on YouTube. So if you have not subscribed to my YouTube, I have to always uh, ask you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Again, for the people who have not sent me the message to say they want to be part of the Goji, Goji, well, part of the JB uh, Health Accountability Group, where we got to do the free weight loss, the free weight loss program on YouTube. So if you haven't done that, it's not too late. You could still join this group of people who are willing to lose weight, willing to be healthy, willing uh, to change uh, their self-esteem. That's what we're going to be doing in this group. So if you haven't joined, you can still join. For the people who are subscribing to this platform here on TikTok, I want to say thank you to you very much. Uh, again, uh, if you have not subscribed to the TikTok, you could always click on the subscribe button on top and it will allow you to subscribe to me. Uh, my friend, user76, user76, thank you for liking. Uh, thank you for tapping on the screen. Appreciate you. Queen Nicole, there's one thing I wanted to do here today that's a little different that I've never done. That one time I tried to do it, it didn't go too well. So it looks like something say here, invite, <laughs> invite Nicole. Nicole, do you want to come up on the screen? But uh, again, I don't know. I know how to. <laughs> so when people come up, they need to, we need to make sure that when it's time for them to go. The last time somebody came up and then they never want to leave and I had to cancel <laughs> the whole show. So I need to learn how to get make sure I get them out of the screen. But Nicole, do you want to be part of uh, do you want to come up on the screen? It says uh, invite you. So. Everybody who is tapping, 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 tapping on that screen. I appreciate you. My queen, Mupiritu, uh, how you doing? Again, uh, my dear uh, supporter, uh, Michelle, thank you for tapping on the screen. Michelle, how you doing? User 76, it's my pleasure. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you. It's just a time that I take here to have a great time with a group of people. 
by answering a lot of questions. Question healthcare related questions. That's what I do here on this platform. If you haven't followed me yet, there's a lot of reasons that you should follow me. There's a lot of reasons. And I see my friend Sophia. My friend Sophia, welcome to my dear queen, Sophia. Thank you for being here, Sophia. I'm happy to see you. <laughs> my friend Karen Brown, thank you for being a, a new follower to this platform on Good Day. Again, once you follow me, you're going to see the reason. Because your brother here, only what we do is talk about healthcare. So, yeah, so my friend Nodia, how are you doing, Queen Nodia? How's it going? Nicole, I'm about to pick up my daughter. <laughs> so. So I tried later, yeah, no problem, no problem, anytime. Uh, my friend is asking what causes the bottom of your foot to burn. This is very, very common with uh, neuropathy. So when you say burning in the feet, it sounds very much like something like neuropathy. Neuropathy is when you have a damage to those nerves. That's what neuropathy is. And usually it's caused by uncontrolled diabetes. Are you diabetic, my friend? Are you diabetic? Are you diabetic? So if you're diabetic, it could be that you have diabetic neuropathy. If it's neuropathy, if it's nerve pain, so you need to make sure you take a medication that could help with nerve pain. Just know, a lot of the other medications will not help you with that. Uh, but if it's nerve pain, because the burning in the feet, do you have any back pain as well? Any back pain? So no back pain, just burning in the sole of your feet. Any medical issues? Do you have any medical conditions? Because I don't understand. Yeah, usually people would have, uh, like if you have a sciatica, like you have a pinched nerve, it could cause you to have that burning. Are you standing a lot on your feet? Is that when it happens, when you stand a lot on your feet? Did you have any accident, any injury, any falls or anything like that? Miss D, Queen Miss D, how you doing? Thank you for tapping on the screen. Oh, wow. That's a beautiful heart. A beautiful heart from my queen. My queen, Miss D. Thank you for your support. Y'all go <laughs> follow Miss D for me. Miss D. <laughs> Miss D, huh? My friend who has discoloration in their eye after they fell in the bathroom. It appears to me, but I'm not diabetic. Okay, but so if you have that discoloration in the eye, I don't know, is it inside of the eye? Is it outside of the eye? Is it just some, some kind of bruising in the eye and the outside of the eye? Because if you fell and you have this bruising in the eye, uh, first of all, are you having any problem with your vision? After you fell, did you try to go to the emergency room? Did you go to your doctor, to the urgent care to make sure nothing wrong happened? And uh, please be careful in your bathroom. If you don't have a grab bar or if you don't have uh, those uh, type of mat and the in the, on, in the bathroom that could have non-sticking uh, type of uh, the one that non it's the mat that helps you so you don't slide okay <laughs> okay so you went to the ED already yeah I think most likely a lot of those things could just be uh, bruising and those bruisings a lot of the time they will just go away but I'm glad you went to the bathroom to, not to the bathroom to the ED to the ER to get it stitched up so because yeah okay I'm glad you did that because uh, you know you need to get things like this checked out so I'm glad you did
Yeah, usually these should go away on its own. But I mean, I don't see it. I don't know exactly how it looks, but I'm imagining. I'm just imagining the way what you're saying. And usually it should go away on its own. You used to stand a lot in the past, but not anymore. Do you have any problem with energy? Because remember, if you have low vitamin D, um, you know, I'm trying to see what other symptoms you have. If you have low vitamin D, it could also cause you to have that burning in your feet. So that may be something that we may want to look at. Okay, we may want to check out to see if you have any problem with your vitamin D. You may want to get that checked out as well. The people who are tapping on the screen, the new people like my queen Renee Clark, the new people who are joining this platform, the new followers, I'm very appreciative of you. Again, once again, if you have not followed me yet, follow me so you know when you're very, whenever your brother is live so you can get the notification. And with that, you'll be able to get those education. Again, I post at least one to two educational video on this platform. All all of them are videos to help educate people about better ways to take care of their body, about better ways to take control of their health. My name is JB. If you just join, my name is JB. I'm a family practitioner and I'm the host of this great show. This great show. And again, this great show that will be playing on a radio station very soon, by the way. This great show, Go JB Health. No problem, my sis. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the appreciation. I appreciate you. User 76 who keeps tapping on the on the on the screen. <laughs> so thank you guys for the support. Go JB Health. <laughs> If you have not signed up for the Go JB for your brother's weight loss accountability group, you can still do that. Uh, all you have to do is to go on YouTube, subscribe to my platform, search at Go JB Health, and then go to the video where it says that, um, where it's talk about the weight loss accountability group, and then go send me a message. Send your brother a message to say, yes, you want to lose weight. To say yes, you want to be healthy. Yes, brother JB, I want to be part of this accountability, <laughs> weight loss accountability group. Uh, and with that, you're going to be part of this amazing group of people that are going to improve their health. So with that, we could put you on the list. So if you haven't done that yet, uh, you still have the chance of doing it. It doesn't matter if you are overweight or if you are even underweight. <laughs> it's all about health care. So this is not just for people who are overweight, but this is a group that, yes, that will help you with losing weight. But it's a group of people that are going to work toward a goal of keeping you healthy, of preventing things like diabetes, uh, like cholesterol, uh, you know, of uh, preventing those chronic conditions like high blood pressure. That's what this group will all be about. So <laughs> please do that. You have bulging disc. Now, yes, you may need to have surgery, my friend, who has bulging bulging disc. However, what I always say, whenever you're having those type of surgeries, I encourage you. That's what I tell all my patients. Whenever I'm doing a referral to orthopedic and I'm thinking they may be going through the surgery route, I tell them, if somebody say they're going to operate in your back, in your knees, in all these parts of your body, they need to have a very cool, uh, my friend Beverly Thomas, I see you, how you doing? They have to have a very clear conversation with you. They need to make you understand exactly what they're about to do, how is it going to help you, how is it going to change your life? Because the last thing you want is to go have a surgery and now you become worse, okay? So you have to make an educated decision. Those surgeries are very helpful in helping people to go back to their optimal function. But you want to make sure whoever is having the surgery, you want to make sure they can have time 
to have an appointment with you, to sit down with you, right, user 76, who is uh, tapping on the screen, they, you want would you want to make sure they have a true conversation to explain to you? This is where you're at. And after the surgery, this is where you will be. Because that is extremely, extremely important. I've seen people who just went for surgery, but then it become worse. So the only way you could prevent this as much as you can is at least you need to have that conversation. They need to tell you the percentages and everything. And you're going to make an educated decision to know that you're going to proceed with this back surgery. They need to tell you. They need to give you examples of things they do. You need to be able to go on that page and look at the reviews. Look at what people say about it. The same way... When we are saying we're booking a, a, a place for an event, anything we're doing, a lot of the time we use reviews. Well, if you are about to have back surgery, so you want to make sure that whoever is doing it, you go and do the review. The same thing we do for our food. If I'm buying a plate of food, I'm reviewing. So then if I'm thinking about having somebody cutting on my back, obviously I need to review it. Obviously, this person has to be able to have some time to sit down with me, no rushing, but sit down with me, tell me exactly, hey, I'm doing this back surgery. You see how you are right now? This is where it will, it will take you. What is the percentage of taking me to the right path? What is the percentage of making me worse? They need to answer all these questions. Do you have some of the people had that? had this done or maybe you could go online and look at the people who did it before see what they think about it see what they say about it my friend victoria how you doing victoria young thank you for being here so this is why i think it's very important when people tell me well i'm having this back problem i'm having th this knee problem and i'm thinking about having surgery uh, yes great job go for it because we want you to have quality life we want you to be better we want you to not be in so much pain we want you to be moving around so you could exercise so you could do the things that you need to do but also we don't want you to go through a process that makes you become worse okay so that's extremely important the people who are sharing the live i appreciate you guys nordia thank you for sharing um miss d my d queen miss d thank you uh for sharing the live um user 76 who keep tapping on the screen i'm very appreciative of you guys thank you once again for uh, being the part uh that makes me for being the people that makes me, me come here every day Whenever I come here, I feel happy. I feel happy because I have user 47. Uh, good evening. How you doing? <laughs> good afternoon. Again, if you just join, my name is JB. <laughs> Look at my hat. Look at my hat. My name is JB. <laughs> what a good way to say my name is JB. And I bang out a hat in my head. Uh, not a hat, a cap. Man, you know, we need to be able to differentiate a cap with a hat. But that was a cap. <laughs> Rene Clark giving us those beautiful roses. Thank you, my dear queen, Rene Clark. So, Miss D gave me a cap, a beautiful cap. Thank you, my dear. Sugar is 139. If it's fasting, it's a little too high. Thank you, finger heart uh, to me, right? That's finger heart. Oh, I start knowing those things. <laughs> How do you get rid of neck pain? It depends on what causing the neck pain. It could be something. Do you have spasm in your neck? Last night, I had a patient actually uh, in the hospital with neck pain. So... Just give them a little bit of muscle relaxer. It can help if you, you have spasm. But it depends on what your what's the problem in your neck. We need to figure out what's causing your neck pain. Remember, I'm the guy who likes to know the root of the problem. Not putting a little band-aid on it, but find the root, treat it. So you don't have to keep coming, keep coming, keep coming back to me. Once I fix you up, then you could go and enjoy your life. <laughs> right? That's what I believe in. Sometimes it could cause by uh, sports. Sometimes people playing sports and they may have a, a bad twist. It could cause that. Miss D in the house giving me all these balloons. Thank you, my dear. Appreciate you. By the way, guys, you know next weekend is Easter. <laughs> Happy Easter to everybody already, huh?
What's good for hiatal hernia? I assume that's what my friend is asking. If you have hernia, a lot of the time you have to go through surgery, but we need to do the scan. Usually the specialists, they will see how bad, what, what grade of your hernia, and that's how they will determine what you need to do. Based on the scan, that's what will tell them what do they need to do. A lot of the time they just we just watch it, watch it, but in certain size it gets the specialist will go ahead and do surgery. Victoria, <laughs> Victoria Young, you are very welcome. If you are watching this and you haven't followed me yet, click on the follow. <laughs> And I believe you, uh, believe me, I guarantee you, you will see why I'm saying you should click or you should tap on the follow. This is a platform where there's so much to learn on this platform. <laughs> Myself, I feel I could go back there and start learning, right? If I'm missing something, I just, oh, you know what? I, I think I have a video about this. Click. Bang, it tells me what to do. That's what your brother is doing, huh? We're doing this while we're having fun. While my friend is giving me some hot peppers, right? <laughs> some chili. Thank you, my friend. Miss D. Queen Miss D. <laughs> A good supporter of this platform. But yeah, so what we do here on this platform, if you don't know who I am, you may say, hey, what type of guy just having a beat in the background talking about medical stuff? Well, that's what we do here. We do something that is very different. I'm a family practitioner. I'm not a DJ. I'm not a DJ. But you know what? We try to make it fun. We try to interact with our people. Like if you look when you have a queen like Beverly who is supporting you, you got to interact with her. You got to say, hello, my queen. How are you doing? You got to be able to, to do that. So that's why we do this a little different. But everything we do here, they are educational stuff. They are things that I do my, with my patients in this office, in this clinic here, All Care Health Clinic, they are what I do with my patient, so I'm sharing with you guys. That's what it is. Why, Candy Taylor. How are you doing, Candy Taylor? I'm very happy to see you, Candy Taylor. Let me play a little Go J before you, Candy Taylor, for being here. Go J. Go J. Is that Miss Old School 64? <laughs> What a queen name. Good morning, my dear. Uh, queen Miss Old School 64. How you doing? <laughs> Again, if you just join, uh, please uh, follow me. Follow me so you know whenever uh, your brother is live again. Give me a like. Give me a share. If you haven't followed me or if you haven't subscribed on Facebook, on YouTube, uh, uh, subscribe me on YouTube at GoJB Health. I am on all the social media platform, guys. At GoJB Health, you go to any of them, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, everywhere you go. It's going to be at GoJB Health. I'm there on every single one of them. Again, our biggest platform is TikTok, but we are growing on those platforms as well because you are helping me, because of your support, because of Queen D, <laughs> who is a very big supporter. Huh? Everybody, follow Queen D. <laughs> Queen D. <laughs> I'm doing good, my friend, Miss Old School 64. Well, you know what? I don't think this is old school. This is new school, right? The old school will be somebody will be coming here and say, well... Anemia is this, da, 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 da. but you know what? Us, this is how we do it. Look, 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 we do that. This is how you do it. That's how we do our education, right? We do it while we're talking to our Miss D, who just gave us some, some beautiful roses. <laughs> Yes, where have you been, you girl? How you doing? Thank you for being here. We dance and learn here. Yeah, that's what we do here, okay? Not the old school, but we do the new school. 
We learn and we dance. And I can't wait to have those other beats that I'm about to have for this show. So every time I could switch from one beat to the other, right? It's been a while. Those people are supposed to create this beat for me, but they're still telling. Actually, he told me today I need to send them a message to see what's going on. What's the hold up? Right, my friend, Miss D. Quindy. Thank you for sending me a TikTok. <laughs> Appreciate you. And that's why I say everybody should follow Miss D. <laughs> Baby White, 53. How you doing? Good afternoon. Go JB Health. Go JB Health. Go JB Health if you believe in what I'm doing. Go JB for the people who are tapping on the screen. Mildred doing, I see you doing. Thank you for being here. <laughs> we are having fun while we're learning at Go JB Health. Thank you, my friend. Beverly Thomas. Once again, if you just join, my name is JB. I'm a family practitioner. We do education here on this platform. We're having a lot of fun, but we're having fun while we're doing education. Today, we've been talking about a lot of things, burning on the feet. We've been talking mainly about what do you do if somebody is having seizures. We talk about the things that you shouldn't be doing, such as putting something in their mouth, like people saying, put a popsicle stick in the mouth. <laughs> we don't do that, okay? Your brother say no. <laughs> But again, guys, everybody, man, everybody who are here for me, I'm very appreciative to you, of you, huh? What is a what is a better way <laughs> to provide education, huh? We have a nice beat on the background. And then you're educating your people. Some people that you love, okay? Some people like Nodia who is tapping on that screen to say, Bro, I love you. I appreciate you. I love you too, Nodia. My friend, my queen Beverly, Thomas uh, in the house. Athea, good afternoon. How you doing? The new people who are following me, thank you to you. Thank you to you. I appreciate you. I will make you proud every day. Every day, you're going to be proud of your brother. You're going to be proud of what your brother is doing. You're going to be proud of your brother keeping that same energy. You're going to be proud of your brother continuing to support uh, the population, the world. <laughs> Not just in the U.S., but hey, the world. You know, I have people everywhere watching this show. I have people everywhere who believes that, hey, my brother is doing a good job. <laughs> I have people everywhere in this world who who wants to support me. That's why I say I'm not afraid. I'll keep going. Whether TikTok is down, I can guarantee you they will rally behind me on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram. I'm not afraid. I'm not scared. <laughs> Look at my friend Nodia is in Jamaica. You know? Can you believe that? That's why I said this is an, a world education. <laughs> if you were new to this platform, just know later on this whole show will be loaded on uh, YouTube. So if it's on YouTube, that means you will have the ability to go there and watch the full show, right? My friend Joanne Vessel, thank you for being here. So you'll be able to watch the whole show later on this evening. So if you just join, just know that. Follow me on YouTube at GoJB Health, and you'll be able to watch this show on YouTube. Let's go. Fun.
fun and learning together. And remember guys, if somebody's having a seizure, like I said, if the seizure lasts about more than five minutes, you should call 911. You should also look and see if that person has history of seizure. If they don't have any history of seizure, you need to call 911 immediately. Because what's going to happen when they go to the emergency room, at least we will get them established and see if we have to put them on some type of medication. Somebody who has history of seizure, they probably already on medications. They probably already under the care of a specialist. So it may not be as important. But for somebody who has seizure for the first time you gotta call 911 but make sure you help them don't try to put anything in their mouth don't try to give them water or anything until they wake up fully wake up they could start talking to you that's when but otherwise you could choke them you don't want to do that you don't want to hurt anybody right thank you major doing is uh, tapping on the screen A lot of the people who are sharing the life appreciate you. <laughs> Somebody say, we need to get you a dance floor. <laughs> By the way, I love music. I love dancing. By the way, okay? I do. Thank you. He say, I like your style. Thank you. Appreciate you. This style that I have, uh, it's a style that has enabled me to use my medical knowledge and enabled me to reach over 3 million people just on TikTok in the past two to three months. This style of mine, this style that you are encouraging me with, this is what it allowed me to do. I'm using this style for a great thing, for a great cause. My friend Beverly Thomas, thank you for sharing the video. Uh, yes. <laughs> My friend Akia, thank you for following me. Beverly Thomas, thank you for the rose. 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 Once again, Beverly Thomas, the queen. My, my friend is saying, show us dance move. That's what I'm doing here every day. I'm showing you the dance move. And I'm showing you how to decrease your blood pressure. <laughs> I'm showing you how to we minimize your risk of having diabetes. <laughs> I'm showing you the how to minimize the risk of having heart disease while we are going with the dance move as well. So you are killing so many birds with one stone here. Not just one bird, not just two birds. But many, many birds with one stone. Okay. <laughs> My name is JB, by the way. Imagine I was able to kill over three millions of birds with that one stone. Just a little move and share the knowledge at the same time. Over three million, three million human beings, okay? I'm talking about three million people who breathe, right? And now it's 3 million users because there are people who may be watching this, they're watching it with another person. So then you know what? The statistic, it's like if you look at it, it's a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of human beings, people with hearts beating, right? Who were able, we were able to reach in the past two to three months. So you think I shouldn't dance? Obviously, I need to dance. Obviously, I need to be happy. But you know what? I need to be happy because I have you. You. You see, you. I have you because you believe in me. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. My friend is in the hospital. Yes, we are going to keep you in prayers. I hope things goes well. I believe you are one of my subscribers. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Just text me. And I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you, you I wish you a speedy recovery. My friend uh, Peachy, say enjoy yourself. Obviously, we're going to enjoy ourselves. But I'm not going to do it by myself. I'm going to do it with you. <laughs> you, my people, my queen. My friend, all oh my queen, all oh my king, all oh my prince, my princess, are going to pray for you. You'll be all right. Let me know if there's anything that I could do to help. I care for my people. Go ahead. Go ahead, Queen. Go ahead, Queen. Dance. Dance it off. Dance it. Miss D Queen Miss D <laughs> Miss D 1000 Look at that She's really into that dancing thing I see <laughs> Hello my friend Devlin Thank you for being here Where have you been dear? Obviously Obviously Maybe one day we're going to have a big party to celebrate JB. We're going to have a big party. We're going to invite a lot of queen. We're going to send a lot of VIP ticket. And then all the queen can come and celebrate. And celebrate. Uh, celebrate the success. <laughs> the success of the brother. The success of this platform. We're going to celebrate together one day. It's going to come. The day will come where we will celebrate together. We'll celebrate health. Maybe after we do the thing we're doing with our group of people that are doing the go the JB Health Accountability uh, Program, maybe the success will make us decide to celebrate. To celebrate, huh? Then you gotta get a chance to do the real dance, the real dance. <laughs> Gonna come, yes. No, dear, I will be waiting. Just wait and see. It's gonna come. This is a fun platform. This is a fun, very fun platform. Okay, this is a platform where we have fun. We are tapping on a screen while we dancing, you know? What? Fun thing, right? Tap, 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 tap. You just tapping on the screen. Can you hear that? Tapping on the screen while we're learning. While we're learning, while we're talking to a brother. While we're talking to a brother who loves you. A brother, if you look at the information he's putting on his page, you could tell that he loves you. There is no video. I could guarantee you. I could bet you there is no video there that could lead you on the wrong path. All of them, positive path. All of them, positive path. All of them are leading you toward being better. Toward being and better health. Go look at it. And if you could show me at least one video that doesn't do that, then let me know. Because all of them, they do that. That's why people need to follow me. That's why if you're new to this, if you haven't followed, if you haven't followed me, you need to follow me now. Because following me would give you the benefit of knowing of what I'm doing. I'm not doing anything. All I'm doing is teaching people about healthcare. <laughs> My friend uh, Miss D say, let's run it up to 20K. 20K like. <laughs> My friend Rene Clark, I'm always happy to see you here, my dear. Mildred Duane, giving us love 
and her position. More than the rules, but her heart loves us. Her heart loves this show. Thank you for the roses. Thank you for the gift. But thank you for your appreciation. <laughs> Miss D says, yes, I appreciate you. Thank you for the gifts. Miss D, I appreciate you. Guys, you may think that you could do it other ways. That you could just sit here and talk and just be so, so like mean and all that. Well, you know what? You cannot be mean when somebody is sharing love with you. You cannot be mean when somebody is uh, showing appreciation. You got to be able to talk to them. You got to be able to go out there and reach out to them and talk to them and see them and look at them. You know what I'm saying? That's what you got to do. And you know what? That's why my show is the way it is and it will continue to be the way it is. I want to be able to talk to you. I want to be able to look at you and say, hey, hello, thank you for your support. It doesn't matter you give me one like. It doesn't matter you push on the screen one time. I have to look there and say, hi, hello. I appreciate you. I see you. It's important for me to do that because, again, you don't have to do that. You choose to do it because of your appreciation. If you appreciate me, I need to show that I appreciate you too. Okay? So you appreciate me because you see my appreciation for you because of the things that I'm doing. But when you see like your friend Sophia Oled who always come here and flood this place with roses, obviously you got to look at her eye and say, hey, my dear queen, thank you for being you. Thank you for your support. You got to sit there and do that. Because again, this is the best way to do it. You cannot just sit there and think people are appreciating you, but then you don't show them that you understand that they're appreciating you. When somebody say, oh, let's push this. Let's make it 20K likes. Well, so, you know, she, she wants you to grow. She wants to see this going. So if you want to see this going, that's why a lot of my friends here, I ask people to go and follow them. Sometimes they don't even need to. Uh, my friend Bev came in the house. How are you doing, my dear? Thank you for the bunny. Appreciate it. This is bunny time because, uh, you know, uh, 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 Easter is coming. So the thing is, when she said, let's rank it up, however she said it, to, to the 20K, right? My friend Beverly Thomas, who is giving us roses. So when she says that, let me tell you, she didn't have to. She said that because she cares about what we're doing. She, sa she said that because of her appreciation for us. And the people, they don't have to be touching on that screen to make it up there. But you know what? They do it because they love what I'm doing. And me in return... I want to be able to communicate with you. I need to be able to see you, look at you, and say hello, Miss Bell Cam. And I have to say thank you for being having for being a subscriber to this platform. I have to say I appreciate you, Queen Bell Cam, for having a gold JB name tag next to you. So that's what I love with this. And I'm going to continue to do it this way because I want to be able to communicate with you guys, with you guys who are supporting this platform. I cannot do this without you. You guys don't imagine. I can't do this without having you, without having Bev Kim, without having Sophia Oled, without having all these people who comes here to show me love, to show me appreciation, who taps on that screen, who shares my videos, the people who goes on my page. Some of them, they follow me everywhere. They subscribe me on YouTube. They, I mean, they give you gifts. They be subscriber on this platform here on TikTok. So it's like, those people, they are so supportive that obviously you need to do the show the way you do it so you could communicate with the people you love so they could ask you questions so you could, you could, I mean, some of these, some of you guys here, you guys become like family to me. So it's like, I know you guys. Yes, we haven't met. Yes, we far from each other, but it, you guys become kind of an extension of my family because I get to know you guys. I get to talk to you guys live. 
That's what I love with the show. I get to talk to these people. I got to get a feedback from my talk to them, right? So yes, I post videos on there. Yes, I have a lot of feedback. Yes, I have a lot of messages, but it's not a direct feedback like I'm having here. So this is so satisfying when you see Mildred doing, for instance, tapping on that screen. This is so satisfying when you see Renee Clark, when you see Sweet Chicky. So when you see all these people tapping on the screen, when you see those people giving you gifts, those people saying something, those people saying, yes, I like this. Those people saying, yeah, I like it this way instead. Those people saying, well, uh, I have this issue. How do I take care of it? And you could talk to them. What an amazing thing, you know? What an amazing thing that I have. What an amazing opportunity that I need to cherish forever, that I need to be forever grateful with. You know what I'm saying? Forever grateful for this opportunity. Uh, uh, Mildred the Doing, thank you for tapping on the screen. I appreciate you. Kate Lewis, uh, thank you for being here. Mildred, thank you for liking. I appreciate you guys. Again, we're going to take it up. We could take it up, like my friends say, to 20K. 20K today. We're going to do that. Keep sharing. Soon we'll be leaving, but I think we'll reach the 20K. We're already at 17,000. We can get there. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> tap tap the Nordia tap tap <laughs> Mildred doing tap tap <laughs> Thank you everybody thank you my dear people my dear my dear people <laughs> my dear supporters friend and we are talking we've been talking about uh what you should do if somebody is getting is having a seizure so if you just knew if you just joined please uh follow me so you know whenever i'm live the next time so you don't miss the live or so you don't miss part of it however later on today this live will be available it will be available on my page on YouTube. On YouTube, at GoJB on YouTube. You'll be able to see the full show. You'll see the great things that we talk about. The great things that we talk about. Leg pain. We talk about back surgery. We talk about uh, nerve pain. We talk about, uh, again, the main topic that we talk about today was talking about what you should be doing if you witness, uh, if you witness somebody having seizure, what should you do? That's mainly what we talk about today. But if you just join, follow me and give me a like, give me a share, help us. So uh, actually right now we're trying to rank up to the 20,000 K today. We're almost at 18,000. So we're almost there. We can get there. <laughs> Two more thousand to rank up, uh, or oh, actually less than two thousand to rank up to the twenty k today. Twenty k like. And thank you, and Benson. Thank you for liking. Thank you for joining the <laughs> the little exercise of tapping on the screen. <laughs> I call it exercise. My friend Jack. M113, how are you doing, my dear? I'm very happy to see you every day you show up here. I'm always happy. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Joanna, how you doing, dear? How you doing? A lot of my dear people, a lot of my dear queen are joining here. But everybody who's tapping on the screen, we are getting to 20k 20,000 like today thank you to my dear queen who initiated this process uh, everybody follow miss d queen d <laughs> My 
friends is there i'm here i'm happy to see you here as well so yes my dear thank you for being here Unique, uh, thank you for joining the exercise, the tapping, <laughs> the tapping game. <laughs> tap, tap. And Benson, my dear queen, thank you for the tap, tap. <laughs> We're about to reach 20K. 20K today. Miss D, thank you for the initiative of uh, reaching out uh, the 20K. <laughs> you did it. You did it. My friend Jack M113 uh, joining. Uh, she joined uh, the tap, 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 tap. My friend, uh, Unique, thank you, my dear Queen Unique, thank you. Guess what, guys? We already, we are already at the goal where, <laughs> where my Queen Miss D wanted us to be. But you know what? All the other Queen, they join her and they say, hey, bro, we're going to get to the 20K today. <laughs> <laughs> Beverly Thomas, thank you for the rose. Yes, Geodon. Uh, somebody asked, can Geodon cause QT? Uh, well, prolonged QT. QT prolongation. Yes, it can. Actually, Geodon is a medication that I like. <laughs> I use this a lot for my patients, uh, but you know what? Uh, Geodon is actually a good medication, but you got to look at the QT interval to see first, to see if it's safe to give it to the patient. Most of these medications like Zyprexa, Geodon, they could always uh, cause QT prolongation. So therefore, if somebody having QT prolongation, it's not recommended to give them Geodon. I love Geodon because a lot of the time when I'm covering those night shift, <laughs> I give, I make sure I support my nurses. I support them by making sure that I order the right medication. I order the medication that I know that will work so they don't have to be running all night like a chicken with their head off, trying to run all night, trying to help some patients. What I do, I give you what works. I fix the problems, then you could have a great night so you could enjoy taking care of your patients instead of giving you something that I know that will not work, but then you come up. Somebody asked me, what do you specialize in? I'm a family uh, nurse practitioner. My specialty is right here. I'm at all care health clinic, so I do family medicine. I'm at a walk-in clinic, but also I work in the hospital i work as part of the hospitalist group so it's the group of i'm part of the group of the doctors that take care of you when you're admitted in the hospital so i do a lot of how actually last night i was covering the hospital so i cover the hospital um i'll do admissions or discharge or just managing calls throughout the hospital but also i work for a community health company so sometimes i do mental health as well so really those are the three special uh, specialty that i have yes ma'am i do because i live in georgia so georgia requires that you have a supervising md so yes i do if i'm in florida i don't need to if i'm in about 30 something states i don't need to but in georgia we need to we have a supervisor but again uh you know if we need them we call them but really we manage things on our own thank you for being here my friend uh it's my friend uh k khan k Kanu. thank you for being here again uh, if you are new please follow me so you know whenever i'm live the next time but also you'll be benefiting from those small videos my queen you made the go you made it happen look at you 20k 20k like that's what you say you say you wanted to go to 20 20 we right now we are at 21 21 000 likes for the day 
So thank you for your support. To all my people, to my queen, to my prince, my princess, everybody, everybody who loves your brother JB, or, or my friend who only Felicia who just followed me. Thank you guys. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Somebody asking me when are you moving to Florida? I don't know yet. <laughs> That's something I have to think about. Actually, sometimes I think about it. I love Florida, but I don't know yet. I will let you know. Just keep following me you would know when i'm moving <laughs> are you in florida by the way so again guys thank you everybody the people who tap on the screen the people who show love the people who give me gifts today thank you thank you for supporting your brother your brother jb thank you for being here for me thank you for being here for me <laughs> i appreciate you guys every single one of you i love you from the bottom of my heart i uh, thank you guys it's about time to end the show i'm ending letting you asking you to have a great day asking you to be uh to be in great health um i'm ending uh thanking you for the great opportunity that you give me for the support thank you my dear beverly for giving us the last roses of the day thank you very much appreciate y'all y'all have a great day i'll see you guys not tomorrow i mean if i feel good i may pop in tomorrow for a little bit but usually uh, it would have been on Friday that I'll be seeing you. Tomorrow is Thursday. Most likely I will not be here. Well, somebody has a question. Go ahead. Go real quick. Right before I go, what's your question, my friend? My dear friend, what's your question? You say you have a question. I missed it, but pray for you. Yeah, so if you missed, it will be available on YouTube. So the whole show will be loaded on YouTube later on. So you could just go at GoJB on YouTube. You will be able to watch the whole show, okay? All right, my friend didn't ask me the question. You could always go under my videos and ask whatever question you have. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for uh, your support. Uh, thank you for being there. Thank you for everybody who made us rich. Almost 22,000 likes today. Thank you again. My dear queen, Miss uh, D. Miss, uh, Miss D, thank you for uh, your support. Uh, thank you, uh, so Queen D, for everything you do. Everybody, let's go go and good health uh it's about mental health okay i do have a video about mental health on my page my friend uh uh let's see my friend unique uh, laud uh what question do you have about mental health because we have to go uh what is the, what is your question my dear uh well so what's your question about mental health you say you had a question okay no problem you could uh, you could do that you could do that maybe that will be an easier an easier way to do that okay so go ahead and, and box me and we could go from there thank you very much guys thank you everybody thank you for being here you have a great day this conclude our great health education show for today thank you very much thank you to every every single one of you who spent this precious time with us again if you're new to this platform we encourage that you follow us so you know whenever we are live the next time this show comes on every day monday through friday 1 p.m eastern time my name is jb i'm a family nurse practitioner who believes in educating his people, who believes on supporting his brothers and sisters by sharing his knowledge with them. If you missed the show again, it will be available on our YouTube channel. And if you have not followed us on YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter, we encourage that you do that now. Again, once again, the people who tap on the screen to give us the likes, the people who shared the video, the people who became new followers, those who gave us gifts on the show, the roses. We want to say thank you to every one of you. Thank you to the people who subscribe to this platform. We want to say thank you to every one of you. Thank you for believing that together we can promote health that together.
together, we could educate hundreds, hundreds of millions of people. I want to say thank you to every one of you. I really appreciate the support that I have all throughout this country, but also even all over the world. We have a lot of people supporting this great project of education. Again, thank you for being here. Until I see you the next time, you stay with great health.